Hello friends, this video on mechanical properties of solid is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Please make sure that you have watched all the videos from part 1 to part 7 before going ahead with part 8. Here the problem says a metal wire 1 meter long and 0.130 cm in diameter stretches by 0.04 cm when a load of 10 kg is hung on its free end. Let us suppose this is the metal wire which is 1 meter long and this is the mass of 10 kg which is hung at on its free end. What happens when this initially when there was no mass that time the length of this wire was 1 meter. Now after this mass is hung it will come a bit more downwards that means there will be an extension in the length so the length will get stretched by 0.04 centimeter now we have to calculate the stress strain and the young's modulus of the material of the wire so how do we do that let us suppose the length of the wire initially was length l right now what are the th values that are given here length of the wire initially was one meter the diameter of the wire is 0 0.130 centimeters that is equal to 0 0.130 into 10 to the power minus 2 meters. Right? So what would be the radius of the wire? Radius would be diameter divided by 2. So that will be 0 0.065 into 10 to the power minus 2 meters. So this would be the radius of the wire. Mass which is hung at the free end of the wire is given as 10 kgs. What is the change in length of the wire? Change in length that is delta L is given as 0 0.04 centimeter which is equal to 4 into 10 to the power minus 4 meters. Right? So these are the values that are given to us in the problem. We have to calculate the stress. So let us first of all let us try to calculate stress. What is stress? Stress is nothing but force per unit area that is force by area. So what would be the force here? Force would be nothing but mg. Force due to the weight of this mass. So it would be mg. What will be the area? Area would be the cross sectional area of the wire which is equal to pi r square. Now we know m is equal to 10. g is 9.8. Pi is 3.14. What is r? r is 0 0.065 into 10 to the power minus 2. So this whole square. So this would be the value of stress. So this value comes out to be 7.38 into 10 to the power 7 Newton per meter square. Or you can say Pascal. Any unit is fine. So this would be the value of stress. Fine. Now the, it also asks us to calculate the value of strain. Now what is strain? We know that strain is equal to the change in length divided by the original length. So what is the change in length? We can get the change in length as 4 into 10 to the power minus 4 divided by the original length. Original length was 1 meter. So that is 1 so this will be equal to 4 into 10 to the power minus 4. This will be the value of strain. The question also asks us to calculate Young's modulus of the material of the wire. Now in the third part we have to calculate the Young's modulus. What is Young's modulus? It is ratio of stress and strain that is stress divided by strain. So we have calculated the value of stress. Just put that value 7.38 into 10 to the power 7 divided by the value of strain that is 4 into 10 to the power minus 4. So this value comes out to be 1.845 into 10 to the power 11 Newton per meter square or Pascal whichever you want to use. So this would be the value of Young's modulus. Right? So this was a very simple problem, simple, straightforward, where all the values were given in the problem itself. You just need to have to apply the formula and put the values and get the answers. Now let us go ahead and look at the second. Now let us look at the third problem. It says 
two wires of diameters 0.25 cm, one made of steel and the other made of brass are loaded as in the figure. As you can see, there is one wire made of steel. It is loaded with a mass of 4 kg. And again, there is another wire of brass which is loaded with a weight of 6 kgs. The unloaded length of steel wire is 1.5 meters and that of the brass wire is 1 meter. That means when, it, when the wires were not loaded with these masses, the length of the steel wire was 1.5 meters and the brass wire was 1 meter. Compute the elongations of the steel and the brass wires. So we have to calculate the elongation. That means when they are loaded with the, these masses, the wires get elongated, right? So we have to calculate that elongation for both of the wires. Now let us first look at what all is given to us and what we need to find. Let us consider the steel wire first. Now for the steel wire, we had given the initial length that is the unloaded length as 1.5 meters. The radius of the wire is given as, uh, here we are given the diameter, right? So we can find out the radius, diameter divided by 2. So it is 0 0.25 divided by 2. That is 0 0.125 centimeters. And what we need to find? We have to find out the elongation. That means we need to find out delta L. So delta L1 is what we need to find. Similarly for the brass wire, For the brass wire, we are given the initial length, that is the unloaded length, which is 1 meter. Radius of the wire is the same, that is 0 0.125 centimeters. And here also we have to find out the elongation of the wire, that is delta L2. So these are the two values which we need to calculate. So again, let us calculate first of all for the steel wire. Now for the steel wire, we can say that which is the force that will be acting that will give rise to the stress, the force due to the weight of the body. Now when you consider the steel wire, this is the steel wire, right? So what is the net force that would be acting in the downward direction? The net force would be the weight due to this mass plus the weight due to this mass, right? Because both of them are below this wire. So this wire, the steel wire will experience the weight of the 4 kg mass as well as the 6 kg mass. That means for the steel wire, the force F1 would be M1 plus M2 into G, right? You understood why it is like that? Because when it comes to the steel wire, both these masses are below the wire. So the weight of both these masses will contribute to the force acting on this wire. Whereas when we talk of the brass wire, since the only mass which is attached to the brass wire below is 6 kg mass. So the force for the brass wire would come only from this particular load. Right? So for the steel wire F1 is M1 plus M2 into G. So what would be the Young's modulus? So the Young's modulus for the steel wire, I am using the subscript S for steel wire. So Young's modulus would be stress by strain. What is stress? Force by area that is F1 by A divided by strain. What would be strain? It would be change in length that is delta L1 by L1. Right? Now we can put the values. So what would be F1? It would be M1 plus M2 into G. This divided by A. What would be the area? Area is nothing but the area of cross section. So that will be pi R squared. So this would be pi. So area would be pi R squared. Right? So this will be force by area. This into L1 by delta L1. So what is L1? L1 is 1.5. And delta L1 is what we have to calculate. Right? Now here we can see that Young's modulus. We know the Young's modulus of steel. It is given in the question. That is 2 into 10 to the power. So this is given. M1 is given. M2 is given. Right? So we are also given the value of the radius. And 
delta L1 is the only value that is not given. So that is what we have to calculate. So on calculating this, we get Young's modulus is equal to 10 into 9.8 divided by pi into 0 0.125 into 10 to the power minus 2 whole square into 1.5 divided by delta L1 or we can say delta L1 is equal to 10 into 9.8 divided by pi into 0 0.125 into 10 to the power minus 2 whole square into 1.5 divided by Young's modulus that is 2 into 10 to the power 11. So this value comes out to be 1.49 into 10 to the power minus 4 meters. So this is the elongation that will take place for the steel wire. Now in a similar way, we will calculate the elongation that will happen for the brass wire. Let us do that. Now we will do it for brass wire. So for the brass wire, what would be the force? It would be M2G. Right? So that would be 6G. Therefore, the Young's modulus for brass wire would be F2 by A, that is the stress, divided by strain, that is delta L2 by L2. So, let us put the values here. So, it will be 6 point into 9.8 divided by pi into 0 0.125 into 10 to the power minus 2 whole square into 1 by delta L2. So even here also we are given the value of Young's modulus for brass. So we can say delta L2 is equal to 6 into 9.8 divided by pi into 0 0.125 into 10 to the power minus 2 whole square into 1 divided by the value of Young's modulus for brass that is 0 0.91 into 10 to the power 11. So this comes out to be 1.3 into 10 to the power minus 4 meters. So you saw that we found the elongation for both the wires, the one made of steel as well as the one made of brass. Now let us look at the fourth problem. It says a copper wire of length 2.2 meters and a steel wire of length 1.6 meters both of diameter 3 millimeter are connected end to end. That is. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors and much more. Thank you once again.